Before performing this procedure, ensure that the gradient proportioning valve is turned off to prevent siphoning of mobile phase. To do this, press the diagnostics key from the 2695 main screen. The diagnostic screen appears. Next, press the other tests key and select Turn off GPV from the list. Then press OK. A message box appears indicating that the gradient proportioning valve is off. Open the solvent management compartment doors. Position a 1 quarter inch open end wrench on the fitting at the bottom of the check valve housing and a 5 16 inch open end wrench on the compression fitting. Loosen the fitting to disconnect the inlet check valve tubing. Using the 1 half inch open end wrench, remove the check valve assembly from the head manifold. Turn the check valve housing upside down to remove the check valve cartridge. Inspect the check valve housing and clean if necessary with 100% alcohol. Wet the new check valve cartridge. Holding the new replacement cartridge with the two holes and flow direction indicator arrow facing up, insert the cartridge into the housing. Reinstall the check valve housing into the head manifold and finger tighten. Using the one half inch wrench, tighten the housing one eighth of a turn. Reconnect the inlet tubing to the check valve housing and tighten using the one quarter inch and five sixteenths inch open end wrenches. To prime the solvent management system, you will need to perform a dry prime. Begin by pressing the menu status key to enter the status screen. Press the direct function screen key and the direct functions menu appears. Select dry prime, then press OK. The dry prime dialog box appears. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line you want to prime. Then press continue. Next, open the vent valve and insert the priming syringe. Withdraw the syringe plunger to pull solvent through the tubing. You may need to exert force to pull the air and solvent through the system. Continue until you pull all the air through the solvent line into the syringe. Repeat the dry prime for each solvent line you want to use. Then close the prime vent valve. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line with which you want to prime the system. Waters recommends that you prime using the solvent with the lowest viscosity to help purge air from the lines, especially if the inline vacuum degasser is installed. In the Enter a Duration field, enter the length of time in minutes to prime the solvent management system. Start with a value of 5 minutes. Press Continue. The solvent management system begins to operate. At the end of the priming period, the solvent management system turns off and the separations module enters the idle mode.